imagínate que casi 30 casos y cuando los terminé, o sea, le metí, ¿va? porque le metí, yo feliz. Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are How you doing today? I'm good. Uh, we are fine. Ready, ready for class. Ready for the class. That's great. All yeah, right. right. So, do you remember no, what was... Sorry? It's a greeting for other students. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, do you remember what was yesterday's topic? We were talking about perfect present. The or pres present perfect. Okay, the present perfect. Okay, present perfect. great. And actually, we were uh, using yes, no questions, yes. correct? Yes, no question. Yes, okay. no questions. And today we're going to in try to continue with in the same topic. Uh-huh. We're going to try to continue with WH questions in the present perfect. However, okay. we are going to try to mix the present perfect with the uh, simple present. Okay? Simple present. So for example, just no questions. Let's see. Um, have you tried? Um, let's see. Have you tried sushi, Vicente? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. When was the last time you tried an, a, a strange food? When was the last time you tried a with, strange food? It was with my family. I ate kusuko. <laughs> kusuko. Do you like it? Well, uh, it depends of the uh, pre preparation. But the in, the in one you case, try was that a, was that delicious or you didn't like yeah. it at all? I like it. Okay. Teacher, I can hear you. You can't? Hello? I can hear you. Yo si te escucho. Yeah, me too. Maybe he has some problem with mm -hmm. audio. Check your equipment, my friend. Yes. Okay. Oscar, have you tried um, a spicy food? Um, sorry, uh, I don't understand the last word. A spicy? Yes. Uh, chilosa, comida picante. Oh, well, well, yes, yes, I like it. Uh, I like it. Um... Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Have you tried a spicy food? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, um, uh, jalapenos. Uh, jalapenos. Um, in vinag vinagre. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, when was the last time you tried and how many do you eat? Um, I... Um, I ate um, in, um, como si, in Chirimol, um, but um, in jalapenos with eggs. Okay. So what other food uh, have you tried from another country? What other kinds of food have you tried from another country? Um, I try it. Um, I've uh, had tried. I have tried. I have tried um, beans. Um, 
Red beans rice, or black beans? Bl black beans, uh, uh, rice. From which country? Uh, um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, the... If you have tried food from other country rather uh, than El Salvador. Um, uh, almost now, no, um, eh, más que todo, o sea, eh, como digo, más que todo, um, almost, always, o, always, también, eh, almost always, o, o, almost always, thanks, um, Salvador en full. Okay. All right. So, Lorena, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm sorry. It's late for me. It's all right. Don't worry. So, have you tried food from other country? Any other country? Mm, I have tried... Sushi, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, pizza when was the Italian. When was the last time you ate sushi? Uh, maybe mm, two months. Two months ago. ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like it? Yes, I like. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, You're Carlos, welcome. can you hear now? Tiene problemas, Carlos, con el audio. Sí, quizás este, el equipo se le dañó. Uh -huh. Ok, Sandra. Have you tried food from other country rather than El Salvador? Sandra, hello. Giovanni? Hello, teacher. Hi. Have you tried food from other countries? And what kinds of food? Um, I think that I in Panini in the Italy. Okay. Uh, how much did it cost? And the cost is uh, five euro. Mm -hmm. And this is cheaper, it, that, that food. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Sandra Elizabeth? Okay, uh, Vicente, have you tried, have you tried a uh, chanfaina? Oh my, it's from Yusulutan, I guess. No, from La Unión. La Unión. Ori uh, originally. Have you tried uh, chanfaina? Chanfaina. Yes, I have, but... Um, Do you like it? Um, no much. <laughs> okay, when was the last time you tried it? Last year, because Last year. my wife, my wife is is from Yusulutan, and um, she bring she brought she brought a little. she Some. brought a little. Okay, yeah. but there I, are many, I try. There I are have many tried. people that they don't know what Chanfaina is. Chanfaina. They they think that is from another country, but that's from El Salvador. Yeah, Chanfaina. right. Chanfaina. Yeah. And fight from, I like it. from Oriente. Mm -hmm. From how do you say Oriente East? No. West. I would say yeah. Okay, thank you. Now Vicente, select one of your classmates, but you need to mix the present perfect with the 
simple pasts. Like I said, I sent you some examples on the chat. So, if, for example, I was asking how often do you, I mean, have you tried uh, Chanfina? And you say yes, when was the last time? So I'm, mi I'm mixing the present perfect with the simple past. And that's what I, I would like you to do. So Vicente, okay. go ahead, please. Okay. I'm going to select my, the friend. Who are you going to select? Edgar Mauricio. Mm -hmm. Have you ever flown a helicopter? No, I haven't. Okay. And the simple past? What? In the simple the past, you need to mix the present perfect with the simple past. Okay, have you have you ever flown an, uh, a helicopter, helicopter. Edgar? Uh -huh. um. Edgar? No, I haven't. When was the last time you saw one? Well, here in my neighborhood, all the time I saw. I see, one. I so do you I... live in Bosque de la Paz? No, Ilopango. Ah, Ilopango, that's the reason why, yeah. okay. You always see one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Edgar, select one of your classmates, but you need to mix the present perfect with the simple past. Carlos, can you hear? Yes, teacher. Right now, excellent. yes. Excellent, excellent. Necesitaba esa vibra. Okay. Edgar, okay. select one of Lorena, your classmates. Lorena Mengiba. Why me? <laughs> I, I'm gonna try to ask you. You okay. surprise this. I try. I try. No. <laughs> okay. It's easy. The the question. Have you ever drunk beverage? Sorry, I don't understand. Be Have specific, you... because beverage can be like in general. Okay. Have you ever drunk uh, wine? Yes, I have. What was the last time that you drank? When? Remember, when, when is for time. And I said? What? What? Uh, sorry. The answer is today. Uh, I think so. No. <laughs> Probably. In my... <laughs> The last time, y para decir fue, sería the last time was mm -hmm. in my wedding. Okay. The last year. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Lorena, select one classmate. Uh, select one victim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me see. I no, pardon. when the, Who are you ah, going to select? Select person, select person. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, I Oscar Concepcion. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, let me see, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Think about that question. You. Es que me cuesta formular la pregunta. Okay. Think about it and Carlos, select one classmate. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, let me choose um, Giovanni Josue. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, can you refresh me about the 
what what we what what I need to do? Sure, you need to ask a present perfect question, but you need to also mix it with the simple past. Okay. Um. Wow. Let me. Have you ever been to Los Angeles? Who are you going to select? Oh, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Giovanni Josue. Have you ever been to Los Angeles? Angeles. Okay, select another I got one. I a question, teacher. Okay. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Um, now ask the question, Car the second Carlos. question, Carlos. No, after after Carlos, Lorena. Okay. Okay, uh, the, the second question. Uh, I don't know, T-shirt, so, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, Giovanni, have you ever been to Los Angeles? Uh, no, I haven't. When was the last time you traveled? Well, okay. I was traveled I two traveled... years ago. I traveled two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, thank you. Lorena, now select one classmate. Okay. Don Carlos. Mm -hmm. Okay. When have you played football? Have you Sorry? played football? Football? Yes, I have. When do you last time? No. You when football? was oh. the last time you played? When was? Okay. Football or when soccer? Was to play soccer. I was played soccer. No, I played. I played soccer. Um. The. The last. Month. <laughs> the last month. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for participating. Teacher. Uh huh. For you. Yeah. Uh huh. Have you ever worked in the call center? Yes, I have. When was the last time? The last time was. Let's see. Let me think about it. That was in 2016. 2016. Mm -hmm. It's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Do you work in a call center or would you like to work in a call center? I would like to work in a call center. Which one? No matter the, the company? And no matter. Just okay. They pay me. It's All right. <laughs> uh, teacher going to help you. Huh? The teacher going to help you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know many people who work in those places. And but what's... Well, I, actually, I I shouldn't ask about this question, but I'm going to let I'm going to let you know the average that you can earn right there is about seven hundred or eight hundred dollars. Sometimes there are some places that that pay you one thousand, but that oh. de that depends on the place. If you Maybe compare, in if you compare with other salaries here in El Salvador, that's even much better. Yeah. Be sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, my daughter Maria Jose mm -hmm. is in a uh, consulta. I don't know, say an um, appointment. Yeah. Uh, all right, it's okay. It's in clinic. Okay, in a clinic. Okay. <laughs> sure, got a question, teacher. <clears throat> Vaya, Edgar, pero si querés trabajar en un call center, tenés que meterle más. Meterle más y seguir mis, si, seguir mis instrucciones. Si yo les digo algo o si les doy un consejo es porque yo pasé por todo lo que ustedes están pasando. No sé cuál es el propósito de ustedes de aprender inglés. Algunos por obtener un mejor empleo. Otros yeah. porque quieren viajar. Otros porque, no sé, quieren conquistar a, a alguna chica de otro país, ¿verdad? Y hablarle en inglés. Pero el, lo que yeah. sea... No matter what your purpose is, you need to practice a lot, and you need to uh, you need to imitate American speakers. Okay, otherwise 
no matter what you use the language for, they are going to ask you to repeat the same thing that you have already asked. If you don't pronounce that T sound, okay? <laughs> you need to practice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Peter, I got a question. <clears throat> Maybe I confused teacher because um, <clears throat> uh, for example, in the in this question, have you ever been to South America? In I'm South always America. used. I, I I always use, uh, for example, have you ever been in South America? But it's not correct. Or or, or have you what? have you ever been in South America? No, mm -hmm. I haven't. No, but it's correct to to say in South America or to. South America. No, in South. In South America. In. That's the in. preposition you need to use, yes. Uh, because uh, in these examples that you sent to us, mm -hmm. it says, for example, have you ever been to South America? Let's see. Have you ever been to a Vietnam restaurant. Mm -hmm. Pero ya está hablando del lugar en, en sí, del restaurante. Mm -hmm. Pero si hablamos del país dentro del país, have you ever been to? Have you ever, ah. have you ever been in? Ajá, en este ejemplo que usted puso en el chat. Hay varios que dice, have you ever been to North America? Have you ever been to Asia? Have you oh, ever the been last, to the last Europe? questions. Let's see. Entonces quizá yo usaba eh, incorrecto. Yo siempre usaba, por ejemplo, have you ever been in Europe? Or have uh, you ever been in Asia? Mm -hmm. Most of the times you use in, but sometimes you use to, because that that, that, will, that will depend on the context. Have you ever been to? Have you ever been in Central America? I don't, I mean, if I say have you ever been in Central America, means uh, no specific country, okay? Mm -hmm. But inside the I mean, Central America. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. It's okay. That will depend on the context. But if you prefer to say, have you ever been to? It's okay. No okay. problem. Mm -hmm. You need to play with the language. Both are good. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. That depends on the context. Okay. And Thank you very much. It's all right. And... I always say, uh, control the language, don't let the language control you, neither grammar, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. And once you can see it, just let me know. Okay. We can see it right now. Okay, thank you. Now, Carlos, can you please read uh, the instructions? It says, read and listen to the following. Okay, teacher, uh, instruction. Read and, listening, and listen to the following conversion and answer the question. Conversion or conversation? Conversation, sorry. It's okay. Ha habido un problema con la pro reproducción. Ok, let's yeah, see if we can time. open it in a new tab. Uh -huh. I, clicked, I clicked on this icon and then I was able to open it in a new tab. Let's see how it works. I think it's loading. Okay.
Okay, in the meantime, guys, do you like traveling here in El Salvador? Oh, do you yes. listen? Do you listen to my question? Do you like traveling here in El Salvador? So inside, that depends on the context. Okay. okay. Have you have you ever been to um Apastepeques Lake? Not t-shirt. No? I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. No, I haven't. I, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I really recommend you that place. Food, the place, people, everything is nice right there. And the weather is so amazing. If you want, if you would like to travel by boat in places like Coatepeques Lake or Ilopangos yeah. Lake, you need to pay like $20 just for the trip, the complete trip. But $20. yeah, right there, it costs $1. Oh, how, long, mm -hmm. how long is the, the trip? The the complete the, the complete lake or legging if you want to say. Around the lake. Around the lake, yes. You see all the places around it. So amazing. Mm -hmm. I really love it. Yeah. There is yeah. there is something that one. yeah, there is something that they need to have is like kayaks or uh acquire how do you call them? I forgot the name. Uh, skis? Skis. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or motos acuáticas. Yeah. All right. Maybe Let's listen. It take around more than an hour. No, not actually. It takes around like mm, 20 Sorry. to 25. Okay. Okay, let's listen to the audio. Okay. Listen and practice. Yes, we listen. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, just one audio. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos, the second question. I mean, the first question. Has Kay, Kathy ever eaten snails? Yes, she has. She ate snails last week. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, what did Steve order? Sorry, uh, I think uh, still order the order the fried brains. Thank you. Imagine sesos fritos. <laughs> okay. Special uh, person. No. Special pe people. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Edgar. True or false? The simple past. Is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed? True. Are you sure? What do the rest think? I don't know. It's tense that involves. Okay, he said true. True. Uh, Vicente. Yes, did you? Number four. What is a correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I 
I went to a Mexican restaurant last week. Thank you. If you see, we have the present perfect yes. and we also have the simple past. Simple past. Mm -hmm. Giovanni, what is a correct response to the question? Do you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. And then? I have some on my way to work. Okay. Now let's send the answers. Check. Great. I'm 50 late. out of 50. You're awesome. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. All right, now I want to listen to some of you. Let's see. Let me go ahead and select somebody else. Sandra, are you here? <laughs> yes, no, maybe. No, 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 okay. Uh, Vicente, yes, read teacher. the lesson objective. Okay. Uh, sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of event, mm -hmm. often used in recipes or instruction. Sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally, contain information about the order of action and create a natural transition in writing. In this lesson, for English teacher Joe Sands, practice descri <laughs> describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson include an English oral comprehension. Exercise. Okay. We're going to leave the video for tomorrow. This week four is very short, right? But do you remember the first week? That was very long, actually. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and type some sequency adverbs or frequency, I mean, sequency adverbs or sequency words. You can start with first of all, first of all, first of all, okay. And after that, first of all, first of all, secondly, 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 thirdly, secondly. after that, thirdly, later. What is the name of the this uh, words, teacher? Then, sequence, what do you mean? sequence, adverbs according to the. Uh, explanation, sequency adverbs. You can say first, but I prefer to say first of all. It sounds more sophisticated or advanced language. First of all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secondly, thirdly. After the other that, word, later, af then. Uh, after. Later, then. Later. And finally. Then, okay, what we are going to do, guys, we are going to uh, talk about an event, it can be social event, it can be personal event, it can be an event from other person, other country, okay, famous person, whatever you want, but you need to use 
the frequency of adverbs. I mean, the okay. sequence of adverbs. I got confused because we have adverbs of frequency or frequency adverbs, and we have adverbs of sequency or sequency of adverbs. Is that clear? The One last that you we have the last that you write wrote wrote. Wrote. Okay, one more time. We have adverbs of frequency, like how often, okay, usually, and never, sometimes, rarely. Okay, those are adverbs of frequency. Adverb. And Adverb. these ones are the sequence of adverbs sequence. or adverbs of sequence. Los adverbios de secuencia. When do we use them? We use them in order to describe an event, a story, uh, to sound more naturally, to sound more advanced, let's say. Because sometimes we start talking about something and we don't use advanced vocabulary. We don't extend the information because we don't know how to use them. And sometimes we get confused with some words. If you know how to use them and when to put them in a, in a story, you are going to sound more sophisticated, more educated, more advanced, okay? Okay. So let me go ahead about, I mean, let me go ahead and talk about a, one of the stories. Okay, I have a lot of stories, a lot of uh, information, but let me talk about the last event. Let me think about, give me some seconds. Let me okay. see. Okay, the last event. I would like to talk about one of the touristic places here in El Salvador. And uh, that is called um, Las Cascadas de San Pedro. Have you ever heard about them? No, I haven't. No, I don't. Okay. It is near to San Martin City. It's between San Martin and Cojutepeque. Okay. All right. Okay. So actually, we went to that place by accident. First of all, <laughs> yeah, first of all, it, I was thinking about going to San Agustin's Lake. Is the same Milopangos Lake, but that place right there is called San Agustin. When okay. I was a child, my mother used to go there to wash our clothes because we didn't have wash machines. We didn't have water in our houses. We okay. used to bring water just to drink water. But if we want to have a clean clothes, we had to go to San Agustin's Lake. Like... So, first of all, I was planning to go to that place, but I didn't like it. The roads, I mean, I remember when I was a child, we used to go there. I was around six or seven years old at that time. And since, since then, the roads haven't changed at all. So the roads are so... Um, Awful, if you would like to go driving right there, I don't really recommend it. And we went to that place, the roads so awful, there were no restaurants where you can eat something right there. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it was not crowded. It was a lonely place. I mean, my wife got so scared and she was thinking about gangsters. And she said, we need to get out of here, a sap. Well, we decided to go out of that place because we didn't like, and the reason why I decided to go there is because that's the only place when you where you can go and buy guapotes fish. Have you ever eaten guapotes fish? Yes, I have. That's delicious. Right. If you If you like Boca Colorada or red mouse fish, Red mouth fish, those are delicious. And also curvinas. But yeah. guapotes, those are the best. 
I love them. Of course. I love if them you, too. Yeah. If you want to eat guapote, one guapote like this, like, I don't know how to say cuarta, uh, mm -hmm. the, size, the, the size of your hand. So yeah. it costs like $8 or $10. Mm -hmm. Okay. With rice uh, and vegetables. First hand, first hand sell. Venta de primera mano. Ya se imaginan comerlo en un restaurante, cuánto costaría. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to, to go to the place because that's the only place that, where you can buy guapote. And we were not able to buy anything right there. So, thirdly, um, I was so frustrated. However, right. we, went, we went out of the place and after we got to the road, we decided to visit to that place, which is uh, Las Cascadas de San Pedro. After that, we arrived around 12 p.m. at the place. We ate the, the lunch. And later, after the lunch, we decided to come to our houses and bring some uh, swimsuits, okay? My short and my uh, liveless shirt. And then we decided to go back to Las Cascades de San Pedro. That's an amazing place. Uh, the food is delicious. There are a lot of swimming pools. Uh, people are friendly right there, waiters and waitress. But that is the only thing I didn't like. The price is kind of expensive. But we got so um, comfortable right there. And finally, we decided to leave that place around 6 p.m. We enjoyed the place at the beginning. It was kind of frustrating for me because the first place I decided to visit was uh, San Austin's Lake. But at the end, we arrived to that amazing place, which is near to my house, around five minutes. And I enjoyed it. So that was my last event. And I want to listen to some of you talking. What do you think? Do you understand what I said? Was that clear? Uh, using the sequence of adverbs? Or do you have any questions? How to use them? Uh -huh. Only the food. The food uh -huh. was delicious, the food. <laughs> yeah, because I, I love Wapote because I... Um, I grew up near the Saron Grande Lake. Oh, do they I... have them? Huh? Do they have guapotes right there? Yes, it uh, has. I didn't know. But are very, are very um, different. How do you say? Escasos. I, I don't know. I forgot the that. Major... The majority of fishes are tilapia. Those are hard to find, you can say. Hard to find. Escasos, hard to find. Hard to find. Mm, tilapia, mm. I don't like tilapia. I don't really like it. <laughs> yeah, guapote I, is more delicious. And also I love more, guapote. More I really love. No, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. But guapote, oh my God, that's so delicious. If delicious. I travel if I travel to another country, that, that's going to be the only thing I'm going to miss from El Salvador. I love pupusas. <laughs> I really love pupusas. But pupusa is easy to find or to make. I can do. I can make pupusas, ah, okay, so good. that's not going to be a problem for me. But if if I want to eat guapote, that's going to be a big deal, a big problem for me because I mean, there is another thing. I was talking to my wife yesterday, and she said that in the airports they don't allow you to pass guapotes alive. I Why? mean, I don't know. They don't allow you. They say that it's not allowed. I have never tried because I have never gone to the United States, but she has gone there. And she said that it's not possible. Just pescado seco or dry fish. I, I guess no animal can pass mm -hmm. in airport. I don't know why. Anyways, mm -hmm. do you have any questions? Have... Related... Sorry? Because... The animal has uh, some virus. Protection. 
virus or, protection etc yeah or uh, Ill illnesses illness. uh -huh. illnesses. that might be that mm -hmm. might be the reason but that will be my problem if i go to other country yeah me, me, como, de, como decimos a los salvadoreños me agarra desesperación por comer de ese, de ese pescado <laughs> no se imaginan cómo en serio yeah. es en serio i love to Es que es un pescado tan delicioso. He, he probado la curvina. La curvina es rica, es buena. He probado el, el pescado boca colorada, es buena. Pero el guapote, por Dios, me Delicio. ganan con un guapote. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going yeah. to looking for guapotes to pass the course. Oh, okay. ok, ok. <laughs> I will give you a 10. <laughs> ok, oh, thank you, you very much. For kind of ok, do you have any question? Using uh, the sequence of, well, actually, uh, because ah, there is another thing. I I usually buy guapotes in um, the public market from San Martin City because that's the only place where you can buy them. Okay, so mm -hmm. they come from San Agustin to the to San Martin City because I I have to. asked. I have asked many people about the wapotes fish, but they don't even know them. My mother-in-law and my father-in-law, they ah, my father-in-law has has eaten them, has ever eaten them. But my mother, my mother-in-law has never eaten wapotes. Really? Uh huh. She has never eaten, no. and she would like to try. White t-shirt. Uh, I don't know. My, even my even my wife yeah. she didn't know about wapotes she did she didn't ever knew uh sorry she didn't ever uh, know that um wapotes exist okay. and yeah when we got together uh i gave her wapote for the first time and she said oh my god this is so delicious and she didn't <laughs> want even talk during uh the lunch time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now let's listen to some of you talking about the sequence of adverbs. I want to give me one event, but I want you to use those expressions. Uh, Carlos, go ahead. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that you can say finally or at the end as well. That's another expression that you can use. Okay. Uh -huh. First of all, I. Uh, the last weekend, I go to to the uh, restaurant mm -hmm. in La Libertad, and um, in there, uh, I try the Boca Colorada. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, you can in this restaurant. Uh, you can see the the sea directly you can eat in front of the on um, the sea and and finally i return to my house in in la libertad and i stay uh, over there and that this is this is my history <laughs> i don't invent apenas iba por la secondly and what happened what happened with thoroughly after that later then finally at the end to conclude with <laughs> okay <laughs> i was talking i was talking for around five minutes about yes. the about the san Agustin's <laughs> lake and then the, las cascadas lake and i didn't say i didn't I mean, I forgot to say about the photos we take right there. We were taking a lot of photos. And actually, I took, I mean, I recorded a video from that place because that place is so amazing. I really like it, even though it's so expensive. But I mean, you get so satisfied. I OK. Will, I will show you the uh, a picture. The picture? <laughs> where, where you were. Hey. Driving a motorcycle. Uh-huh. <laughs> And he's going to invite us, he said. Ah. <laughs> no, you are invited. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, now, listen. <laughs> Thank you. Edgar, go ahead. 
first of all, secondly, okay. thirdly, after that, later. Mm. And actually, that's going to be your homework, guys. I want you to uh, be master using this type of words because if you use them, you are going to sound more naturally, more fluent, and your English is going to uh, be not intermediate, but advanced. It yes, will be a homework. Yeah, I I would like I would like you to write down a an event a story using those adverbs of um I mean sequence of adverbs. Okay. Edgar. Okay, teacher. Let me try. Well, first of all, the last uh, Saturday, I had planned to go to my parents parent house and but in the morning when I went to the bus station I received a call from my boss and he told me that he needed my help and well and I told his that I I couldn't because I had planned for my parents or my father father and well and I I couldn't go to work but secondly I go there uh, to my parent house and because I had to help my parent to with his crops because he cultivated corn and beans he raised yeah and thirdly when I uh, arrived there over there and I get my lunch I got I got my lunch and thirdly in the third day I uh, I went to help my father. Um, this was on Saturday. And after that, Sunday, I continued with uh, the process of the crops. And then uh, in the, at, the, at noon, I got the lunch again and later at 3 p.m. we had to return here to San Salvador to San Salvador and finally my father um, bring me to my brought me. Oh, no, brought me to my home to my house okay an applause great job excellent you know excellent. that's how you need to do okay you need to use those sequence of patterns okay oscar go ahead please try do you understand me teacher i understood everything <laughs> Mm -hmm. That that was the reason why I didn't interrupt you because I was uh, just paying yeah. attention. Mm -hmm. okay. You great. just need to become a, a little bit more fluent and that's it. Speak yeah. naturally. Yeah, because I was thinking. Uh -huh. But don't think, just speak. Don't fire. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't fight with your brain, just speak. Right. <laughs> okay, Oscar. What? Well, um, my history is, um, bueno, a little history. Um, I would like uh, to speak in about my vacations. Um, uh, first, uh, we had um, a parents uh, meeting in in Gotera. Um, Morazan. Eh, Morazan, correcto, sí. Thanks, uh, Morazan. Um, in the first day of vacation, um, we we went to to Winterfest in, in Perkin. Um, 
um, there there was my 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 co my cousin um, in a in a uh, he has a participation on on winter fest um, second uh, second secondly um, we went to our family in Cuco Beach um, a very nice uh, uh, places um, uh, then uh, after the vacation uh, we reinitiate uh, to to our or works bra or jobs and then uh, uh, i i um, reciting uh, this um, this course finish <laughs> ah, don't invent <laughs> pero por qué se saltan Así como lo hizo Edgar, me llegó Edgar. Muy yeah. bueno, 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 bueno. Is it, uh, we need uh, to, to practice, practice more. a little bit more. Okay. Because so, here, let me go ahead and tell here, you. I am a rogue. Okay. Ah. <laughs> and I'm speaking. You cheated. Yeah. <laughs> you cheated. Hiciste trampa. <laughs> Así no se vale. Tiene que ser sin pensar. Okay. Don't, think. Don't, okay. think about don't, it. don't think about it. Just follow the uh, sequence Pick of one. adverbs. Now, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and tell you the first time I went to um, Apastepeques Lake. I always forget the, the, the word, Apastepeques Lake. First of all, uh, we didn't know where to go because we we usually go to different places on weekends. So we have gone like almost every place here in El Salvador, the touristic places uh, and public places as well. And we didn't know where to go that day. That was on Sunday. And uh, I talked to my, my wife of going to a Pastepeques Lake. Secondly, we uh, prepared everything our clothes, hammock, and we got ready to the trip. We arrived to that place and we loved it. The restaurants, the food, the weather is so nice right there. And we were also asking about the prices of going around the lake. Thirdly, we ate the, the, the lunch with my wife and it was not that expensive. I ate a big a big dish of beef with rice, salad, and also drink. And then drink? Uh, natural drinks. We <laughs> didn't. When I drive, I don't drink <laughs> alcoholic drinks. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, because I mean I don't really want to I be in a in a car accident. In a thoroughly, with the police. Yeah, thoroughly, we decided to go to the touristic place, which is the Pastepec the Apastepeques touristic place right there. You have a big swim. I mean, it's not a big swimming pool, but there are a lot of trees, a lot of trees where you can place your hammock and have a nice time with your family members and friends. After that, we were eating some uh, traditional food outside the touristic place. Later, we decided to go on a boat in the, I mean, on, on the on the light on the lake and it costs around like five dollars for five people so it, it was one dollar per each person finally we decided to come to our house but that was so amazing i mean we felt so relaxing and then we decided to go there uh the next weekend so we have gone there for around like three or yeah three times actually right now and I'm planning to go there one more time. Yeah, that's an amazing place. If you realized, I was using the sequence of adverbs without thinking, without writing anything. So to matter, you need to do the same thing. Think about the last event, 
think okay. about the last story and you need to okay. use all of those adverbs. I mean, sequence of adverbs. Questions okay, so far? Try. No question. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Here. See? When do you use a... Uh... You can play your hammock. Eh, esto lo usa como que puede poner la hammock a uno. Uh -huh. Play. You can set up. You can play. I will say. Uh -huh. I will say you set up. Tie. You can set up set your up. Mm -hmm, set up your hammock. But you can use play. Okay. Thank. If you are going to play, right, with a hammock. Also, we can use tie. Tie your hammock. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That depends on the context. Okay. Okay. Any other question? No, thank you very much. Okay, guys. Si no han comido, buen provecho, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. night. You too. Thanks. Good night to everybody. Good night, everybody.